Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more Shining Force 2. So at the end of the last episode I did mention that I wasn't feeling too good and I sounded a little off so I apologize for that I feel a lot better today so hopefully I will show a little bit more enthusiasm throughout the video. Um, with that being said, we are going to try to save Princess Ellis today. Uh, I saved right at the start of the battle here. Uh, this is a battle that sometimes I have to retreat from. Um, this is where they are starting to give you more... Uh, a lot more enemies <clears throat> to, to fight and sometimes it gets a little daunting for Sarah to heal as the only dedicated healer. Uh, by that by around that point in the game in Shining Force 1, you already have three years by then, uh, or thereabouts. You, are, you have Gung and Lo, and you already have Chris or just about to get her. So having only one dedicated eater makes it a little bit harder. Of course, I can give medical herbs to other characters so that they can heal, but they don't get the same amount of XP as she does. And it is a fight that you have to be careful with. It can be sneakily difficult if you if you don't play it right. All right, so Ludex already down five. <clears throat> Oh god, what are you gonna do? Come on, Jaha. Need a little bit more power over there. Yeah, they all have range, so it's extremely difficult to protect your your casters in this uh, in this battle. Oh dear God! Well, I guess Chasm gets the first eel. <clears throat> Yeah, Ludek is not getting much XP anymore. <coughs> yeah, I didn't need that. Oh boy, there's no great spot to put myself in to cast that blaze. I guess air is gonna have to do. Chasm's level 8, HP 1, MP 2, Defense 1, Agility 2. Nice. We don't really care that he doesn't get attack uh, when he levels up. It's going to be extremely rare that I am going to physically attack with my mages, unless they're completely out of MP and something has one hit point left, then I might. Or to save MP if something has one hit point left, but other than that, yeah. So your Kiwi doesn't look very threatening right now, it's attacking with, uh, with its helmet, uh, but whenever he gets stronger, 
uh, when you promote him. He looks a little bit scarier. Kind of looks like Godzilla or something. <clears throat> They're trying to force a decision on me on who I'm gonna need to uh, to heal. Are you even gonna be able to hit four on that? <laughs> of course not. Oh boy, and now he's counter-attacking. Oh! Slate did dodge, though. Okay, I just sealed him, so <clears throat> oh, only it for six, huh? Really not getting a lot of XP now. That's about to change. <clears throat> wow, they all have one hit point left. We're pretty strong on counter attacks this turn, or this battle. have to heal him just in case even though Chester probably needs it more or even Slade but <clears throat> if Ludic falls it's over so uh, all right what level are you seven yeah okay so you get the archer go get for four look at you slate level seven hp one attack two oh dear god you needed that defense one agility one oh wow that really doesn't happen often for slate pre uh, promotion of course he's probably gonna die now to celebrate oh he's still up Okay, yeah, Kiwi can definitely tank physical attacks at the start of the of the game, or at the start when you get him, or it, or, you know. Oh, a crit. Joe's level 8, HP 2. Attack 1, Defense 2, Agility 1. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Pretty good level. Good job. Alright, they're kind of spreading the attacks, uh, which prevents me from dying, so I don't mind all that much. It's just there's so many healing opportunities, and I can't heal more than 1% at a time. Ugh. Kiwi, you're killing me. 
Oh, the chasm won't mind. He's gonna get the XP. Oh god. I do play on the second hardest difficulty level, so I guess that might be why I'm missing so much. <laughs> oh goody. That's three physical attacks in a row that they've blocked. God, I wish I had aura right now. That would be a lot of XP. <clears throat> Probably won't even be able to finish it off. Ooh! Slay. Oh, that's true. You did get to attack last level. Look at you. Good, good. Although the, the number of XP that I'm getting is getting lower. But that's the that's the last battle with those. Yeah, those it's hard. <clears throat> Chester's level 9, HP 2, attack 1. Defense 1, a Jyoti 1. That is a typical level from my experience. <clears throat> Alright, did that for 7. Kazan's level 9, HP 1, MP 2. Attack 1, Defense 1, a Jyoti 1. Learn the new magic spell, Model! which can become useful at certain points. Alright, so those give a lot of XP for Ludek. Careful how I approach this. Not necessary for Ludek at this point, mostly for Kiwi. <laughs> Even for Chester. Alright, good. He's healing himself. More XP. Ooh, I'm lucky, I thought Kiwi was dead. 
you wouldn't have survived a blaze. Oh, he's attacking twice. Woohoo! Dark Cleric is defeated! And I'm level 10! HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1! Save it for somebody else. Yeah, ideally for Kiwi. This spell level one. Ooh. Oh. Well, I can't cast spells no more. I still can use medical herbs. Kazan would really help, but he's been silenced. Ooh, won't matter. Kazan's dead. Oh, he has one hit point left. Chests are gonna be the hero. Yes, he is. All right, so I managed to end up it pretty good. I didn't lose any anybody. Uh, when you play on the, R, the artist or the harder difficulties for that fight, sometimes it might happen. Uh, as you saw, there's a lot of range attacks, and when they decide to kind of gang up on one of your casters or something, it can become pretty difficult, but they didn't really do that. They kind of spread the damage around, so I was able to kind of keep everybody up. Anyway, King Gallum, you've lost your followers. Princess Alice, come here, come here. Father. Yeah. No, Princess. Alice. Freeze. Uh -huh. What a good hostage she is. Stay there or she'll die. Stop this, King Gallum. Leave her alone, please. Princess Alice, I'll save you. King Gallum murmurs a magic spell. Watch out. What? Father. Don't worry, I'm fine. That was just a warning. Do you want me to attack again? King Grand Seal. Ganon, please tell me what's in this tower in Ground Seal. You really want to know? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. King Ganon displays a jewel of evil. I will open the door to the evil world. Observe. Uh, 
an earthquake. Now do you understand? I plan on opening the sealed door. Why? What's inside? You'll find out soon enough. What's he doing now? Here they come! <laughs> what? I have a bad feeling about this, and I believe that's the only time you t speak in the game. Maybe not. You don't speak very often. Princess Ellis is swallowed by a light tube. Farewell for now! Going up! He's using the light tube to go through the doorway. Save her! Save her now! Ludic, you're good at performing acrobatics. Minister, help me. Y yes, but ow. Throw Ludic towards the light tubes. Yeah, that sounds safe. Ludic, save her! Too late! You're too late! Oops, we lost our grip, but... Ludic grasped the jewel of evil. What are you doing? Don't touch my jewel! Don't touch it! I said don't touch it! I'll shake you off! You're still there? Wow, he's so brave! Oh, I've almost got you now! No, you'll fall if you open your hands now. Ludic's jewel suddenly flared. Whoa! The light! The light! The jewel of evil fused to Ludic's neck. He stole my jewel! The two jewels merged together. I have to go back and get my jewel. No! Father, Ludek, help me! She's gone! Alice! We couldn't help the princess. <sighs> Ludek, why do you have two jewels? Ludek, Ludek explains what happened. Indeed, perhaps these jewels are the key to solving this. What? Another earthquake? Wow, it's getting worse. Whoa. So, Astral, what should we do? I'm not sure. So, Astral, let's get out of here. We'll come back later with soldiers to rescue her. But, Sir Astral... He won't budge. We'll have to carry him. The minister nods. Ludic, you'll be buried in the tower. Come on. But I want to explore. Get out of here before we have a tower collapsing on us.
strange earthquake. Ludic, you must escape. Okay, everybody's safe. Your Majesty, Sir Astral, are you alright? You didn't escape, why are you here? We've been waiting for you. Chasms are appearing in the ground. Everybody is, is on the ship to avoid falling into a hole. Thank you, Ludek, hurry to the arbor. Woo! Help, help! That's too cruel. Ludek, go to the arbor from the east side. It's safer. Alright, I knew there was at least one mitral to be had here. Pass it to Chasm. So we have to leave. We have to run away. King Grand Seal, Sir Astro, oh, Minister. Everything is ready, we can go anytime. Where are we gonna go? We're losing our home. Sir, Sir Astro, glad to see you again. Can we put out now? Nope, then come back here very soon. Well, I'm not ready. The town was destroyed by the earthquake. Who are you? Don't push me, the ship is full. Ouch, I have bruises everywhere. There is no room for you here. Well, that's not nice, the king. Come on. Oh, my grand seal is collapsing. It was big enough to cause a tsunami. Leave port now, right now. All right, I guess. I've already got what was in the barrels and stuff. Okay, let's go. Sir Astro, where are we headed? This earthquake must have caused damage all over the island. Maybe to the east to... Oh yes, to the mainland. To Parmesia? Hmm. What, to the mainland? No. What about Elias? No, we'll stay here on Grants. It's too dangerous to stay here. Wait anchor right now. So we are abandoning Princess Alice. So as we can see that uh, that tower was going really far in the ground. We were almost swallowed by that ch chasm. That was close. So Astro, where should we go now? I think we should go to the mainland, don't you agree, Minister? We have no choice. Then let's go to the continent of Parmesia. And so the ship heads east for Parmesia. I feel sick to my stomach. Ugh. Sarah, look. Sorry, Kiwi, I can't do anything right now. That's not what... Sorry. Oh. Hooray, land ho. What? Oh, it's true, Sir Astro. We can see the mainland. Finally, we've arrived, King Grand Seal. Can you see Parmesia? Oh, that's good. Minister, we're approaching Parmesia. Land the ship, Captain. Where? Anywhere. There. No, there. But the ship will be destroyed. It doesn't matter, the ship will be used for lumber after we land anyway. Are you serious? Just don't complain that we don't have a ship later. Ooh. 
Whoa! The ship has crashed into the shore. Oh no! Ugh, ouch! That's what I call good seamanship. The people of Grand Seal have arrived at their new home. Everybody, listen up. Let's build a new Grand Seal ear. The ship will be a good source of timber. Break the ship apart and bring the timber onto the land. We're going to break the ship up into pieces and build our new town. That means we can't go back to Grand's Island. Hey, listen to me. Be quiet, we know that. Help me remove this plank. Okay, I'm coming. It's stuck. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, what a klutz. That's okay, Joe needed a bath anyway. So a little bit of humor here. Now whether you find it funny or not, it is entirely up to you, of course. Do that. Bring that plank above deck. I can't talk now, I'm working. Do that. Bring that plank above deck. Yeah, I already said that. What can I do to help? Our home... Our home will be reborn. That's the spirit. God breeding, better bring up that plank. Boy, I sure hope Joe can swim. <laughs> That's okay, Joe. I needed a bath anyway. I already said that. They're mining granite for our town at North Cliff. Somebody take that plank from him. I got it. Thank you, boy. Ludek hands over the plank. We need a lot of planks for our new town. Yeah. We can't go back to Grand Seal without a ship. There's no Grand Seal on Grand Island now. I know that, but, you know, home is home. Somebody help! What's wrong? One of my friends has not returned from North Cliff. He may be in trouble. This isn't good. Nope, it isn't. Did, I, did you hear that? Would you go to North Cliff and check on his friend? Nah. I think I'll stay here. Nah, I guess I'll go. Oh, you're so brave. Hey, he's going with you. Do that. Thank you. I'll show you to North Cliff. Follow me. Do that. Wait, wait. Hey, you're all wet. Are you leaving? See, it isn't so. I think it's too dangerous out there alone. And? It would be safer if we came along. Let's go. It's over there. There he is. He's lying down. Why? What happened? <laughs> More strangers have arrived. You, did you hurt him? This is my territory, I protect it. You come here to save him? <laughs> Everybody attack! Alright, so now the difficulty ramps up uh, because the monsters are all new and they are all also very strong. So. So we have green ooze now with 27 attack, 12 defense. We have witches. Uh, those don't have a lot of attack, but they do have freeze, so that can one shot Kiwi. Those have 26 attack and 13 defense. Those are goblins. And then we have hunter goblins with 24 attack and 12 defense, which are also pretty strong. So, yeah, this this battle uh, ramps up in difficulty, like I said. Uh, you have to be really careful. Everything hurts pretty... It's pretty hard here. So, you kind of have to be on your toes. 
eels. And not on your eels. And it already starts with a freeze on Chester. We already have to heal, and we haven't even attacked anything yet. Well, oh, Sarah's level 8, HP 1, MP 1, attack 1. Oh, that's it? Yikes. No defense and no speed. And they also start they're also starting to have more oh HP one for Judd, attack one, defense one, and agility one. Uh, enemies are also starting to have more hit points, so they take longer to kill and I haven't had new weapons in a while. So that's why I said that uh, the XP growth was about to change. That's because starting here we're starting to see new monsters. Oh boy, Slade's gonna need a eel. This is also the the battle where I did mention in a previous previous video that uh, Chester kind of being a a tank is not going to last very long, so that's where he kind of drops off in that role where he can take some hits. He really can't take all that many anymore. Um. Oh, cool. I didn't expect to finish it off. Oh boy, a crit for five. Slade, you need a new knife. A crit for six. A yeah, Kiwi needs to level up. Nowhere close to be enough.
Chester is also gonna need a eel. Because he can't tank no more. to level up some of those characters, they are so weak. Of course it probably doesn't help that my three strongest melee attackers are together on one side. up and his level 8, attack 2, defense 2, agility 1, that's actually pretty good for him. He really doesn't get a lot of hit points when he level up, so getting 2 attack and 2 defense was very beneficial for him, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I'm gonna try to go this way, but that goblin over there might have other plans for me. Alright, so Kiwi took a hit for one. Yeah, with a little bit more hit points it would be a really good tank, but yeah. have to toast that goblin from the back back end. I can't take too many more of those. Oh, Slade is dead. I was hoping he wasn't gonna be able to reach. I might have to retreat. Jazz level 10, HP 1, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Slade does need XP, so I can't be too liberal with how long I keep people dead. Yes, I desire to save my game. Oh, I should have waited. I want to move some medical herbs around and stuff.
There you go. She does have detox, so I'm not that worried about carrying an antidote, unless I'm unlucky and that she's out of MP when that happens. I'm gonna go ahead and save again. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. I know there wasn't a whole lot of fighting because we had the escape from Grand's Island thing happen, so that took it a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and stop here as usual. I do want to thank you for tuning in and if you've liked the video feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff and until I roll this game again I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.